Oh, some lovely memories of the year. Yeah, Just a few little memories. standout moments. And it's always great, of course, when we get our sports stars to talk to us, whether they're on the red sofa yeah. or from good a studio see, afar. Good to see the same shirt and jackets are going well. Though. Well, they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is Christmas, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a new wardrobe. Tomorrow night, we'll be in Salisbury for a special programme when the youngest members of the Salisbury Cathedral Choir will sing for us. They all attend the Cathedral School and we've been following the new joiners as they get to grips with their role as choristers. In Salisbury Cathedral, an open day for children who are hoping to join the choir next year. Susie Lamb is director of music at the Cathedral School, which supplies all of the cathedral's child choristers. Today is just for fun, but a successful voice trial can result in a scholarship. All our choristers get 30% off their fees. If you've got a very musical child who loves singing, who really wants to be a chorister, please bring them along to sing to us, because there are places that will help you find the funding. The latest recruits joined in September and became probational choristers, known as probs. When I made it in, I sang the song Walking in the Air. I'd quite like to be head chorister when I'm in year eight or something. My mum's really interested in classical, um, but my sisters and my dad's really interested in pop. I'm really nervous, but then I've always thought I want to be an actress. Some of the probs are feeling a bit lost and still adjusting to their new routine. But choir master David Halls puts them at ease. Out of breath, bless you. OK, verse 9. They're a little nervous, of course they are. You're working daily at a high standard. They switch from Latin to English to German to Italian. You have to just rely on your instinct, in a way, that this child has something that makes you think this is going to turn into something really good. Until 1991, only boys could take part. My brothers were both choristers here, and I wasn't allowed to be because I was a girl. And when, when Salisbury was the first cathedral to make a girls' choir, it was absolutely... I was so happy and so frustrated because I missed out by about five years. When you start being a chorister, you learn the way to sing in their way because they have to all sound the same. You've got to hold on that long note until I get bored. I want them to enjoy what they're doing. They work hard and they play hard, but it's a good atmosphere on the whole. Oh. Probably a bit long, I think. OK. Probs, you are now going downstairs. Mrs Wetzel is taking the probs to be fitted with robes. First, a ruff and we'll get you one a little bit bigger. It does feel a bit weird because the rough is quite tickly. They get starched. Then a cassock, white for the girls, and the boys wear green. Probationers will sit in the service off to the side with me and I'll help them follow along with their music and um, just learning how to sit still in the service and they'll be able to see the choir to see what they're doing and observe. In the first term, it's only a couple of times. I'm American and my husband is here for work and so while he's here for work, this is what I'm doing. I've learned proper English, I've learned the Anglican church, I've learned boarding school, English schools. It's the best job in the city. And you start to walk not too fast. Theo, don't cut your corner. The probs have started attending services in the cathedral. At first, it's just for experience and they aren't allowed to sing. Boring. Yeah. <laughs> You're just listening and following music. Yeah. So I generally try and sing under my breath, but then Mrs. Wetzel hears me and then tells me off. She's <laughs> like. But tonight's even song is special because parents are here and the probs are allowed to join in with some of the hymns. When they're ready, the probs will be promoted to full choristers but that'll require more hard work. Good, let's do those verses again. Here we go. Like any cathedral in the land, we look at our choirs in September and think, oh, right, OK, we've got 10 weeks to get things up to standard for Advent and Christmas, and it feels like a new choir, but it works. 
Next year, new choristers will be here, surrounded by hundreds of years of history and tradition, even in the song room with its heavy oak cabinet where the Magna Carta once lay. <laughs> Stone head thing Which is... up there, it's so freaky. Oh, oh, and Miss and Mr. Halls, yeah. um, he said the music was by Handel, and then he said his first name was Dor. <laughs> <laughs> Not to get when you drop a piano down a mine. Oh, I know that A flat mine. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you get if you drop a piano on a battlefield? <laughs> a flat major. <laughs> <laughs> they like their jokes. They, they love do. their jokes, don't they? <laughs> and we're going to be hearing them singing tomorrow night's programme, so don't miss it. Let's get the weather now, and uh, Sarah's here. So, what can we expect over the next few days? Well, we have got some more wet weather to come as we go into the weekend, but a drier picture as we look ahead to the Christmas period.